All right, guys, this is William Jiaoming. So let's um, um, do a little bit of practice to combine what we have learned and uh, to adjust um, a certain reference image. Okay, so this is um, um, a new image. So I'm going to create a new, right? And then copy and paste the image here. So this is a uh, peacock and um, we have done the uh, person practice and then let's um, do some animal practice. Okay, so first I'm going to select um, the main um, subject. So I'm going to use um, the select and uh, subject, All right? So yeah, we got our uh, subject here. And uh, yeah, I think the AI is pretty good. Uh, but the what is in the middle is a little bit weird so yeah so let's see that all right so yeah and of course you can use um mask or something like that too this is just a, a simple copy and paste okay but um you can use mask as well so you can add a certain mask say um um, layer mask, right? So you can apply that to your original image, and of course, um, you can just um, add in a um, yeah. I think I'm going to copy and paste it to save. Um, copy and paste that layer first, and then do the selection. All right? Um, subject select. Once done that, you can add the layer mask, all right? And uh, hide the previous layer and choose that. Use your digital pen and you can just draw a little bit, all right? I think zoom, all right? And uh, you can brush. Right, and um, if you want to hide it, you use the black to draw it. You don't need to be per too precise because, you know, you can always change it later on. Right, so yeah, pretty cool. And of course, the rest of it. Zoom out, alternative, holding. Right. and uh, brush okay so we single out this peacock and uh, yeah and we can adjust yeah I think we can adjust the uh, um, say um, we can duplicate this by click hold and make a copy of it right because we like to make more adjustment so adjust um hue and saturation right we can make it more saturated right and uh, this is just a adjustment um you can you, you can just say that we want to adjustment just it down and of course we can just uh, Um, just combine this, merge it, and uh, of course you can just change the copy layer, right? Because this layer is just a peacock, okay? You can um, make an image adjustment. Um, I think I'm still stick with the um, here yeah, because um, in order to do this adjustment, I'm going to yeah change that image as well. So let's just add the uh, hue and saturation adjustment here, hue and saturation, 
add a new hue. You can change the color of the peacock. Right, and then um, if you just want to apply one, you can use the clipping mask, right? Um, by using right clay and uh, clipping mask. I think I've, I've already done it, so uh, let's, let's just delete this and do it again. So, property. Um, so if you just want to add in a certain hue saturation mask, you can just click it and hue saturation and make it a clipping. Clipping mask, right? Clipping mask, so it will just pointing down. It just change one hue and saturation, so it just change the peacock. Okay, I can change that to a completely different fantasy color. Right, it won't matter. Right, and uh, yeah, I can change it back to different color. I think I'm going to make the saturation a little bit to make a little bit of standing out all right and then you can change your brightness adding more light the saturation is a little bit too much and of course you can add a uh, different um, hue and saturation right and you can desaturize everything to make it standing out right and of course you can change the the um, mask by using the brush make it a little bigger and using black to just uh, Make everything desaturize. Fine tuning it a little bit to highlight the um, the part that you want to. Yeah, and of course you can use uh, um, a soft brush, right? Brush, soft brush, and uh, opacity uh, a little bit to make. The surrounding, yeah, we desaturize the the back. So yeah, uh, we don't need to do that. So yeah, I think it's pretty good, and um, because I I still need to do uh, the maneuver, so I'm going to copy and paste this layer and uh, hide the original one. And command T to get it back to its original position. Hide the previous one, and of course you can um, you can change it the size of it. Maybe a little bit bigger, or maybe just the original size. Let me warp it a little bit. So, um, yeah, command T, and uh, yeah, that's uh, we have haven't choose that. So I think I'm going to yeah. We don't need to flatten it. Um, maybe. Maybe use the selection, okay? Lasso selection. Select the uh, this part, and we can copy and paste it. 
and uh, multi warp it. Oops. Yeah, let me get it. Crazy feeling. Yeah, I think I need to do precise selection. So delete this layer. Yeah, maybe something like that. And uh, single that out, Command T, and warp it, right? Because that's uh, not um, fantastic. It, because you, you can change that to a um, different reference, and uh, say you want to um, draw a phoenix, something like that. You, you, you can change the original image. You don't need to yeah, worry about the effect that it will have. Like make it much more magnificent. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Much bigger. Yeah, you can do that. Wait. Alright, so yeah. And then you can apply the changes and use it as your reference image to draw um, something else. Yeah, you can um, compare it. But that's, that's just too much, I think. That's too much. Maybe just a little bit. Nothing too... Uh, crazy because the complete change of the yeah just adding that lens a little bit right yeah cool